Do you know why half the Roman Colosseum is missing? It's not because it crumbled because of old age. The exterior stone was actually stolen in the Middle Ages to be used for other buildings. That's what happened to the world's most notable stadium. But what happens to a lesser known arena that gets abandoned nowadays? Nothing. It just sits and rots. But how they rot is fascinating all the same. Let's take a look, shall we? Lesser known abandoned stadiums is coming up right after this. Getting healthy isn't easy, especially when it comes to snacking. Let's be real, finding a snack that is tasty, filling, good for the planet, and actually good for you is extremely difficult. Not anymore. Introducing Toodaloo, a ridiculously tasty cosmic trail mix with functional benefits such as supporting your focus, gut health, energy, and skin so you can be your best you. Their four flavors are delicious. Personally, I like Hot to Trot. It has a mix of citrusy goodness with a spicy, delicious kick to it. Nuts, dried fruit, and spice. Yum. It also has healing herbs like turmeric, which supports your body's natural ability to be healthy, energetic, and balanced. And it's low carb and tastes delicious. Toodaloo is non-GMO, gluten-free, grain-free, plant-based with organic superfruits and with no processed sugars. Plus, you get 35 grams of protein in each bag. So after this video, go to my link at toodaloo.com forward slash five points and use my code five points to get $5 off your first order. Each ridiculously tasty flavor benefits your body in a different way. So choose your favorite flavor and benefit from skin health, digestion, focus, and relaxation. Again, that's toodaloo.com forward slash five points and use my code five points to get $5 off your first order. There's a reason this stadium is lesser known, because it was buried under volcanic ash for nearly two millennia. When Mount Vesuvius erupted, it filled in this stadium that was used to host gladiator events with hot ash in a disaster so catastrophic the Houston Texans winced. Excavated in 1813, the site is now a historical relic. Pink Floyd used it to make a film in 1971, and in 2016, the band's guitarist held a concert there. It's mostly a tourist site now. Recently abandoned when the Pawtucket Red Sox moved to Wooster. Yes, I know it's spelled Worcester, but it's pronounced Wooster. McCoy was already maligned as a substandard minor league park due to its age and crumbling structure. Ironically, during the pandemic, it was being used as an alternative training site by the big club. Then when baseball returned, McCoy was cut off and left for dead. The Paw Sox, who played AAA ball here for 47 years, were also no more as they are now known as the Woo Sox. It's unclear what will happen to McCoy now, though demolition is likely in order. Like in many Olympics, host countries build large venues for just the games and have no future plans for them afterwards because they play so much baseball in China. At least this one doesn't have giant cooling towers in the background. Like the 2014 Greek games, China has several abandoned venues from 2008, like the beach volleyball arena that was instantly abandoned when the last game ended. Why they built such a large venue when all you need is a beach is beyond me, but most of us do love beach volleyball for, you know, reasons. <laughs> This stadium once had a naming rights deal, a Class A team and a college team playing in it. In 2012, the stadium was known as CMC Northeast. In 2016, the name was returned to Intimidator Stadium. However, in 2019, the White Sox affiliate left for Atrium Health Ballpark downtown, and the stadium was abandoned and slated for demolition. It's amazing how fast the earth reclaimed the field in just two short years. It looks like an overgrown sticker patch now. Okay, so this isn't a lesser known abandoned stadium, but what is shocking is how long this huge structure has sat empty and rotting in our nation's capital, no less, if that isn't fitting. Last use in 2019, what's sad is, is that it's probably in better condition and easier to get in and out of on game day than FedEx Field. 
An announcement was made in 2019 that the site would be demolished, which was scheduled for 2022. But like all things in DC, not much that's ever said actually gets done. The place hosted the NFL, MLS, and MLB at one point, all three in one year. Though it underwent renovations in 2011, that would be the last year this stadium hosted minor league baseball. A recently posted YouTube video shows that feral cats have invaded the abandoned facility and they're also maybe bats. In 2019, a $1 million proposal to revitalize the stadium was voted down and it has sat empty ever since, yielding some pretty creepy pictures and video. Wait a minute, something is abandoned in Detroit? Built in 1969, the Doreus Velodrome was a one-fifth mile bank concrete track and cycling races were held here up until 1989. Since then, it's fallen into disrepair and is probably a sweet spot to smoke weed and do graffiti now, something probably a lot more popular in Detroit than cycling. This one is looking pretty rough. Capital City Stadium was in use up until 2014 and its demolition was announced in 2019. However, like many stadiums on this list, the pandemic put a lot of plans on the back burner. The plan was to tear it down in 2020 and turn the site into a retail and residential area, but it doesn't look like that has happened. Hootie and the Blowfish once held a concert here and the venue was a longtime home to various minor league and college baseball teams. So this is an example of what not to do when a stadium reaches the end of its life. Once the proud home of the Akron Zips football program, the Rubber Bowl had a peak capacity of over 35,000. 2008 would be the last year for college football here, and the plan was to have the stadium be purchased by a future USFL team, the Akron Fire. Yeah, that didn't happen. After numerous failed buyers and proposals, an emergency demolition of the grandstands and press box took place in 2018, but the rest of the stadium cannot be demolished as it supports the nearby boulevard and could cause it to collapse. Instead, the stadium will sit abandoned and rotting indefinitely. Cool place to probably explore though, and smoke weed. And now for our final lesser known abandoned stadium. It's hard to figure out what happened here, but it looks like a team moved to this ground in 2000 and immediately suffered financial problems and the air quotes stadium was immediately abandoned. All that's left here is two buildings and the overgrown pitch. Though I think I see one of the goals back there. Eventually the team itself folded in 2009. This has got to be the saddest abandoned stadium I have ever seen, even for Sunday League. Ah oh well. Thanks for the memories.